Not right now. Go ahead. Just watch the cord. This is rock. Yeah. It's not fake, it's real. All right. Let's see if this is, this is, is there anybody down here with us? If you're down here with us, can you turn on one of these flashlights that we're looking at right now, the blue one and the silver one? Yep. Thank you. I'm gonna radio up to them and ask them to close the door and turn off the light. Yep. Okay. Okay, can you guys uh, close the door and turn off the light, please? The, the light's down here. Okay. All right, so let's do this. Okay, let's do, uh, let's try to communicate with these um, flashlights down here. Generally speaking, we'll want you to respond within eight to 10 seconds of us asking the question. So if, uh, if the flashlights are off and we ask you a question and you want to answer yes, you will turn the flashlight on within eight to 10 seconds of us asking the question. Are you a young child? Are there any young children down here? If there are any young children, can you turn on the, one of the flashlights, please, to let us know within the next 8 to 10 seconds? Young child being under the age of 12. Thank you. That is so weird. I, I thought I heard a voice. I thought I heard it again. It wasn't that sound right there, it was a voice. It like ends in an E sound. Is it coming from over there? Or? It's um, it's like coming from like down in a hallway, like a tunnel or something. It's not here. I would just say it's like distant. It's very weird. I heard it twice. Can you speak your name loud and clear right into this microphone in front of me? See, did you hear that? It was like a high, it was like, it was like a, a high, like E. See, I'm seeing, I'm hearing, it just sounds continuous, like in the background. Is there a child with their name ends in an E sound? If there is, can you turn on the other flashlight within the next eight to ten seconds? With your last, with the last part of your name? They went on. Oh, like Abby? That's the name of the girl upstairs, right? Abby? Is it Abby? The Abigail? Kids? Up in the attic? I don't know. I wasn't with you guys when you... There was a Mary. Oh, oh snap. Something just touched my arm when you said that. Ooh. It just hit my sleeve. You know, that's the angry person there. Can you turn the flashlights off, please? Both of them. Thank you. All the way. Turn the lights off. Leave us in the dark. Ooh, what was that sound? That was over there, John. There's nothing over there to make that sound. It's just the rock wall. Mary, if you're here, can you turn off that light, please, to let us know? We'll ask you more questions, but you have to turn that light completely off. 
And you have to follow... Was there talking while I was talking? John, did you hear talking while... Jeez, Louise, I think something keeps rubbing up against my hand. Like, my hand and my arm. I can't see myself. Did you hear that? That sounded like footsteps. Yeah, right there. Right there. I'm telling you, I think that Mary, when we talk about her ever, weird things start happening. It's cold in this corner. It's really cold over here. Could be because of that window, I guess. Okay, the squeaking noise is the. Oh. Yeah. Is the. Um, Captain, you said that it, you would come stand in this or sit in this room with us. Can you please let us know that you're in here by turning on one of these flashlights really bright? Please. There's one over near. Well, you know where they are. There's one on the back wall there. Oh my god, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you just grab me? I just grabbed you over here. Okay. There was a sound. Did you hear that sound? No, wait a minute. What was that light that went around the room? I heard the sound. Hold on a minute. Right before you heard the noise. Yeah. There was a light. I saw the light. Around. Turn turn your No, turn I your saw it. Teresa. It wasn't Teresa, I saw it. Yeah, it was just a light dim. But it went all the way around? Noise. It went across this wall and down that wall. And then I heard like a like a step over a here. Step or a thump over there. Eleven thirty one. Eleven thirty one. Oops, are you alright? Those were my headphones. You did that? or? No, I got them. I don't have any of the wires to completely off. The light is on. Wait, what? They just fell on their own? Yeah. What would have hit them off? I don't know. Tethered with these headphones on. Right before you heard the noise. Yeah. There was a light. I saw the light. Around. Turn, turn your. No, turn I your saw it. Teresa. It wasn't Teresa. I saw it. Yeah, it was just a light dim. But it went all the way around. Noise. It went across this wall and down that wall. And then I heard like a like a step over a here. Step or a thump over there. Eleven thirty one. Eleven thirty one. Oops, are you alright? Those were my headphones. You did that? 1131, 1131. Oops, are you alright? Those were my headphones. Harry, <coughs> who do you want cameraed? Yeah, that's why we gotta figure out where we're gonna put the cameras. So we can put one camera on top of the station shooting down. Definitely. We can put one. I'm thinking we want to be able to see the in and out of this room. We actually put two cameras in each of these rooms. So I'll walk with you and show you where they're gonna okay. be. Okay. 
So let's take some tape and put it on the floor where the cameras are going to be. That way, everybody knows how to run the cables to run them to those points. Test, test, test. How many cameras do you have, Tony? 16? 16, yeah. Okay. Where that one's sitting, but we're going to put it up on the window sill. Right. That way, go keep them out of our. And then he's a, I got to do the tour of the house, and this guy, he's a skeptic, and when he came in, I was waiting when we get up here, because I knew this room was doing it, and we got in here, and he's like, you sign, big guy, and I could see him starting to sway, and I said, and I said, you feel a little lightheaded? He says, yeah, I said, this is what happens in this room, a lot of people feel funny, they get lightheaded or off balance. This one or that one? This one. And so I asked him all kinds of other questions, so he asked me, and I wanted to stay in here to see how long he said, ah, and... Fisherman, he says, Ray, if you don't mind, I've got to get out of this room. I'll be on the floor before long. He said, i got to get out of this room. I don't know what the heck's going on. He was really all starting to feel funny. Well, let's bring a camera up. Yeah, we'll figure, yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. set up yeah. for your okay. 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 We can do two in here if we have to. Those ones we haven't used yet, so all the cables are right here. Okay. Just remember one. that we need uh, the female end down here. Female end down here. Male end goes upstairs. Okay. So right now we're setting up all of our remote cat cams uh, throughout the house. We have seven upstairs, we have three down here that we're running. We're just bringing all the cables down to one endpoint so we can plug them into the DVR. And uh, John is actually looking for the additional cameras. We have up to 16 that we can set up, I think we're setting up 10 right now for the night. Get the cables run and all the power distribution blocks in place so we can power them all up and see the entire house during our investigation. And what's this? This right here is uh, one of the, the leads from the camera so it has the video signal and the power going back up to the camera so we can turn on the lights. This is one of the cables that's going up to the second floor. Uh, one of the seven cameras we have set up up there for this evening so we get lots of coverage for our video and uh, we'll also have audio recording capabilities this evening. So. We are running cables right now to um, set up all the cams uh, so that we can get them all in a DVR downstairs so that the uh, at the main base they can watch and see what's happening. Okay. Um, our, one of our main concerns is safety. With all these cords, um, it's very critical, especially being in the dark, that people aren't going to trip. All right, we're uh, setting up cameras on this second floor department. This back room, we seem to get a lot of activity. Open this room. We haven't had a chance to come in this room yet to investigate. I'm kind of anxious. I know a lot of a lot of experiences for women in here have been pretty phenomenal. I'm hoping that even though not a woman, I'll get some experiences. In your back. Okay. okay. Are you going to stand? We're just getting all the cameras connected on both ends, so we have uh, six of them plugged in so far. We have some more to hook up still, but uh, we're going to start adjusting those cameras that are upstairs so we get good angles and good coverage of the investigators during the footage, uh, during the investigation. So here we have the ability to monitor all 16 cameras at once. We can actually flip between that and show, we can zoom in on one camera, we can zoom in on four cameras, eight cameras, 12 cameras, 16 cameras, and we also cycle through them. So we have some really good coverage. So hopefully we won't miss anything that's going on, not only in the areas of the investigation, but also in the areas that uh, the investigators are not in. So that will give us some additional coverage and give the investigators uh, some ideas of if there's an area of the house they need to move to, if there's activity occurring there. So we're going to finish hooking these cameras up upstairs, and then we're going to hook the ones up down here, and then we're going to get going. Tony, I'm pulling on the stuff a little bit. One second. Uh, Paul again. You got it? You got all you need? All right. For the moment. All right. So John's in the blue room right now. We're going to adjust the camera so we have good visibility in there. So I'm just going to select that camera and zoom in. All right, John, you need to angle it down. Yeah, point it down to the floor more, please. Um, that's pretty good. Go back to standing where you were a minute ago. So John's in the in the blue room right now, which is up to the right at the top of the stairs. And that's the room where the abortions were reportedly taking place. 
in this house. So a lot of people, when they go in there, they have, uh, mostly women, they'll go in and they'll have abdominal pain. And they'll feel very uncomfortable, short of breath, like they're going to faint and pass out and they have to leave the room. So some men experience that as well, but mostly women. Um, that's pretty good. If you could, uh, if, what Teresa done doing, what she's doing, if you could have her come in and kind of stand near you like Kat would do it during the investigation, that would get a good idea what the coverage is for the two of you. So if I so if I walk up, you can still see it. Yeah, I can see you nice and clear. Awesome. Okay, and yeah, we can catch anybody going through. So. Where's the zoom that he's using to listen to? It needs to go out to the hallway. Alright. What was that? It exists because I... Alright, let's uh... We'll put the zoom in the hallway and then... Alright, I'm going to... You want to hold something? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so that's going to I'm moving this microphone into the hallway, Tony. So we want to hear... Eric? Oh, it it's got to go into the hallway. What the heck? That was me. Okay. No, it has to go in the hallway, like halfway. He'll be, he'll he, the, with that he'll hear us just fine. Yeah, because he needs to hear those jingle bells. Just nod. Did you see anything? Can you hear? Here. Can you hear me? Can you hear me talking? Did you see anything hit my face? Is it this? So I was just going to um, do something with audio, I think, and something went across my face, and it, like a, like a cobweb or something, and I was trying to see what it was. Apparently she heard what sounded like hangers behind me rattling at about the same time that I was pulling something off my face, which there isn't. I just want to interject to what you're talking about. Just as you started to talk about those hangers, yeah. I heard something like a tap right on that audio recording that I was Out in the hallway. Alright, so did something just go off out there? What? Huh? What? Yes, please do. We're in the blue room upstairs and is this apartment one? Apartment one at the uh, Mill House, Millie Jane's house. Um, we set this recorder on the shelf, right next to uh, where we have the balls hanging from the strings, the, the jingle bells, and uh, the glow stick. Where are we gonna hang the glow stick from? Um, I wrap that around. We'll pull this. I'll sh I'm gonna show them how, how I did it in case it falls, because there's no way this can fall. I just wrap this around. I'm gonna count how many times I've wrapped around. So if this falls, it it's not something I had to have done it, right? So I'm gonna put this on here like this, 
on our rabbit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine times. It's wrapped around nine times, so I'm pulling on it. I'm not really pulling on it. It's not going anywhere. If that thing falls or moves, there's something playing with it. Okay? And I'm just going to, this is just going to get draped over once like that. have three flashlights, one on the windowsill and two on the shelves. If you want to answer a yes to a question within eight to ten seconds after we ask the question, not before, can you turn the light off please? John is scratching. There was a weird smell, almost like urine or something, for like a brief second. It's gone, but it was here. So if you can turn the flashlights on for yes, within 8 to 10 seconds after we ask a question. Is there somebody in this room with us? Can you turn the light on within 8 to 10 seconds? Thank you. I just heard a voice. When you asked the question, there was like a guy back there went, yes, like that. Thank you. Are you a male? Did you just talk behind Kath? Who's out there? Out in the hallway. If the answer is yes, can you turn the flashlight on within 8 to 10 seconds? It just blinked. We need you to turn it all the way on for a yes. It's fine if it blinks as long as it goes okay. Thank you. That sounded like a footstep. It was Jesus coming. Okay. Is there there's a man in here with us right now? Hello? Is there a man in here with us right now? The lights on. Thank you. This room used to be a room of relaxation. Are you familiar with this room? Being a room of, of relaxation? Just kind of coming in here and, yeah? You used to come in here at the end of the day, put your feet up next to the fireplace and just kind of kick back? Is that what you use this room for? Barely on, but it's going. Kind of. Is that is that kind of like a kind of? Yes or. Are you a doctor of some sort? Okay, I'm going to ask this question, or, um, and you need to answer within 8 to 10 seconds so we can take it more seriously. Are, were you a physician that performed uh, certain procedures here in this room? If you were, can you please turn on one of the lights within 8 to 10 seconds, or two of the lights, however many lights you want to turn on? The, so the flashlight did come on almost immediately after I asked the question if you were a physician or a doctor or somebody who performed the medical procedures in this room. So, um, and we're going to assume that you were a male. C 
could you please give us a sign, a non-threatening sign, that uh, that assumption is correct, that you are a male spirit within eight to ten seconds? So are you are are you a male spirit that performs the procedures? <sighs> just give me chills. Yeah. Shh. Okay, I'm gonna get up. It was like a baby crying. Yes. Okay, wait, just wait, okay. You're running audio, right? I'm freezing. Oh my God, that was a baby crying. Yes, it was. I just gave me chills. Yeah. Shh. I just gave me chills. Yeah. Shh. I just gave me chills. Yeah. I just gave me chills. Yeah.